Okay, let's take a look at this asteroid called NEO 2024PT5. NEO stands for Near Earth Object. It's going to orbit the Earth for a short time. Sadly, the asteroid is so small and so far away that you won't be able to see it with any amateur equipment, not your backyard binoculars, not your backyard telescope. Only with professional equipment using long exposures would anybody be able to see this asteroid. I'll just show you a little bit about this um, NASA website, and I'll show you how to pull this up so that you can observe this asteroid yourself on your computer. I'll show you how I got here. So there it is. That's not an actual picture of it. It's just kind of like what it might look like. About the size of a school bus, they say. If I back out, you can see where it sits here in the orbital plane. Okay, so there it is hovering above the Earth. I say above. I mean, if the Earth's North Pole is going uh, this direction, then this would be above the North Pole. But first, let's see how we got here. Check this out. First, let's head over to the NASA website. The address is eyes.nasa.gov forward slash apps forward slash asteroids. So let's just go to that address. You'll get this kind of generic site which talks about asteroids. And if I click to enter here, and then I'm going to search for 2024 PT5. And there it is. We'll click on that. And there we go. It zooms right in on it. Now there's a couple of settings that I like to adjust here. Uh, one is you can go over here to the layers, and we don't need to see the planets. We don't need to see other spacecraft. We'll leave trails, labels, and icons on, and the user interface, uh, we'll leave that on too. So I will move that out of the way. And now I'm gonna use the scroll bar on my mouse to just scroll back and see where we are right now. So scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Ah, there it is. There we go. The technique I use for leveling is if the screen is tilted, say, to the right like this, if I, if I take my mouse and click and roll it in a small circle to the right, see how it slowly brings it around? So that's a handy way to adjust the levelness, let's call it, of the orbital planes here. So th there it is, PT5, 2024 PT5. There, I'll stop moving around. Okay, there it is. This is the live view. This window over here has a couple of the details about the uh, asteroid. Average diameter, 11.29 meters. Distance, 0 0.02 astronomical units from uh, the Earth. 0 0.02. An astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So this thing really lies basically in the path, in the same orbital path as the Earth. Uh, its orbital path takes 1.02 years. So it's almost identical to the Earth's orbit. Uh, which is one exactly one year, and it just happens to line up with the Earth uh, in this orbit. See, distance to the Sun, 0.99 astronomical units, so 99% of the distance to the Sun. That's the closest uh, distance to the Sun, so about the same distance as the Earth. Uh, furthest from the Sun, 1.03 astronomical units, so a little bit further. Sometimes it's closer to the Sun than the Earth, and sometimes it's further from the sun than the earth. And uh, oh, and it's, it's uh, tilted at about one and a half degrees from the, um, from the plane that the earth describes around the sun. And the closest approach to the earth will be January 8th, which is odd because that's after it's considered to have left its orbit. But uh, I'm not quite sure what they consider to be in orbit because let's face it, every object in the universe that has mass has an effect on every other object in the universe that has mass. Or shall I say, space is curved by anything with mass in such a way that other objects that have mass are affected by the existence of, of any object with mass. So here we are looking at 2024 PT5 and the Earth. Let's zoom in a little bit. In fact, I think I'll use the Earth as the center here. So I just double clicked on the Earth and it does this. And now I'm going to scroll back out with the scroll bar. And there's our Earth-Moon system. 
So this mini moon belongs to a group of asteroids called the Arjuna asteroids, and they orbit roughly in the same orbit as the Earth does around the sun. So they say that this thing entered orbit on September 29th. It'll stay there 57 days, and then it exits orbit on November 25th. And again, I admit, I don't know what they consider to be in orbit and out of orbit, how they can pinpoint it to an exact time, because it's, it's always being influenced by the Earth's gravity. I think it's the point where the Earth's gravity dominates. So let's just go back to that starting date where they say it entered orbit. September, here I'm moving backwards. So I'm grabbing this slider here, and you can see, ah, there we go, things are starting to move. You can go faster. Se okay, September, let's stop here for a second. All right, we'll go forward to September 29th. September. All right, so this is the day that they say it enters orbit. Here, I'll just kind of, uh, I'll zoom out a little bit. I'm just going to tip things around here so you can get kind of a th the 3D effect of where it is with, in relation to the Earth. It's above the Earth in its orbital plane. And it's heading around the sun, right along with us. I'll use that technique to level it up. There we go. So there it is, flying right along with us, above the North Pole. Now, we'll just advance time here and follow the Earth and PT-5. So here we are into October, uh, well into October. And you'll notice that at some point, I'll just stop it right there. So it's still okay. Now look at the pa the path that's being drawn. At some point, the Earth's gravity draws it in, and it's going to go actually below the plane of the Earth here. So let's advance it forward. There it goes. So we're following the Earth. It's captured by the Earth right now. The Earth's gravity is holding on to it, and then boom, it loses it. Now the Earth has passed it. Again, I'll stop time. So the Earth has gone past it, level it up here, and now it's down below the plane of the Earth. Here's the Earth-Moon system. Back it up here, and there's PT, or 20, 2024 PT-5, below the plane of the Earth. So again, let's go through that again. So we were back here. There it is going backwards in time. So the Earth was actually, we were chasing it for a while there. Here we are back in March of 2024. We're actually chasing PT-5, 2024 PT-5, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. And here it gets whipped down below. There it goes, whipping down below the Earth in its plane. And now it's following the Earth. In its path and we're already into June of 2025 so there it is and you can view it as well now if I just double click on any object or just maybe even single click there I, I clicked on the P, uh, 2024 PT5 and it took me right to it and you can rotate this thing around and look at it from various angles if you scroll out, you have to go way out to be able to see the Earth again. There it is. Well, that's how you can look at 2024 PT-5 on your computer at the NASA website. So have fun with that. I'll put the links in the description below. Cheers.